Have you ever accidentally deleted a file or needed access to a file you deleted some time ago? Well, it turns out you can get it. And today I'm going to show you how right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, don't forget to hit subscribe followed by the bell. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to recover deleted files and it's actually more simple than you think. We're going to be using a program called Recover It and the reason for this is there's a free version for both Windows and Mac, meaning everyone can use it. When it comes to deleted files, if you delete a file, although it's deleted from your computer, it's not necessarily deleted from the drive. It's simply marked as deleted in the simple way of looking at it until that file is then overwritten, it will still be available for recovery. So using this software, you can see we've got quite a few options here. We've got deleted files recovery, so accidental deletion, shift and delete deletion. So for those that don't know, if you hold shift and press delete, that skips the recycling bin and goes straight to delete. And we've also got power failures. Recycling bin recovery, if you accidentally emptied the recycling bin, you can get it from there. Formatted disk, if you've formatted a drive, then realize you need a file, you can use this. Lost partition recovery, so lost, deleted, hidden or resize partitions. If you do any of those processes and need files, you can use this option here. We've then got external drive for anything external. So that's external hard drives, memory cards and USB flash drives. If you lost anything from a virus attack, you can use this recovery here. System crash, so that's boot failures or system crashes and all round recovery for all data scenarios. So we're going to use the deleted files recovery and I'm going to show you just how easy it is. So first of all, I've got some test files in here it's opened on another window so I'll drag it here you can see thumbnails from my recent videos so what I'm going to do is just shift delete those and completely get rid of them so we've done that and I'm going to close this down and I'll now just use deleted files recovery because they were on my drive here on the desktop that's actually my hard drive so I'm just going to do a scan on that and press start now when it comes to scanning, because I'm scanning my whole hard drive, it is going to take a long time to do. You can see remaining time there is just under 5 minutes, but I normally find it does take longer than that. It normally takes a couple of minutes and it starts showing you results, but the great thing is you can look through the results as it finds them. So you can see it's already starting to find some results here. So one thing you can do which is great is if you go into files view you can actually start looking by all of the types of files. So the ones I deleted were photos, you can see it's found 73 photos so far and I actually know they were PNG files but alternatively you can use the tree view and go that way. So we'll just go into files view, I'll go into PNG and see if the files are here. So you've got lots of created dates, you can see I generally don't name them too well but you get the preview there. To the right hand side it tells you what you've got. So I'm just going to leave this scanning, you can see we're only 25% of the way through so I'm going to skip the video to where this is scanned further. So it's still searching through but I'm just going to pause it here because my hard drive is very large so it's going to take some time but you can see 25% of the way through you can see I've actually got 15,000 PNG images so when it comes to this there are different ways to find your files for instance this is one of the thumbnails I deleted I know that's the case but there are so many PNG files that have deleted on my computer if you didn't know what it was called then it could be a hard job to find well luckily you can search via the tree menu as well. So for instance, this was in my test files folder. I know that so I could go to tree view. In here I need to go to users, go to my user and then I've got the test files folder here where I put it. So if I want to recover this, I simply tick the box there, press on recover and it will now give me the options here. So this is a downside to the free one. You can see you can only recover files under 100 meg, but most of the time that is gonna be okay. As you can see, this file here is nowhere near 100 meg. So I'm just gonna press recover on that. So we then need to select a path to save the recovered files. If you choose the same drive, it does suggest that you don't choose the same drive you deleted them from, as that can reduce the chance of recovery. So I'm gonna use my F drive, and in there, I'm just gonna make a new folder called recovered files. In there, so I'm gonna select that one and then press recover. Congratulations, file recovery complete, and it's actually opened up this folder in another window. It's on another monitor, so I'll just drag it across, and you can see local disk C, users, 
So you can see the files there, that's the file I lost. So if we just open it to check that it does open, we use photos. It's gone over there and you can see my thumbnail there. So that did work and it was nice and easy to do. The one thing is if you're doing it on big drives, then it can take some time. So we're just gonna stop this and I'm gonna go back to the home. So if we cancel this scan, Go back to home and we'll now try a different method. So I'll just show you some other examples and then I'll show you where to get this. So a good one to use here would be emptied recycling bin. So if I've ever emptied my recycling bin, it will now come up with the instances I did that. So I'll skip this forward to where it's complete, but I find this scan generally only takes a minute or two until it's given me different instances where I've emptied my recycling bin. And you can see at 16% it found one and it's now starting to find multiple instances. So on these cases, you can just click the recycling bin and it shows you what you deleted. So in this time, it was a JPEG and an MP4. Another time you can see a WebP, XMP plus a PNG image. So I tend not to use my recycling bin, although we can see this time I did actually have a lot in it. There's lots of zips. That looks to be plugins for Cody there. So you can see if you did ever accidentally delete something, you can simply select them from this list and again, just recover the files. So that's it for that section there. I'm gonna stop the scan here and we'll just head home and we'll try one more option. So we'll go ahead and press stop. Let it stop its scan. Now we're gonna exit and go back to the home screen. So another useful thing is gonna be external devices recovery. If we have a look in there, you can see lots to choose from in here. I've actually got a USB hard drive plugged in, but generally any USB storage is gonna work. So we're gonna click next. And the one I'm gonna use is this one here, the HD PCU2. So I'm just gonna click start on that. And all this is doing now is scanning my external hard drive to see what it can find. And again, I did put those thumbnails on here and I deleted them and you can see they're on here. I can recover them if I want to. You can see there's actually some movies in there that were deleted previously, some big files, 43 gig and above. And we've also got lots more. If we just go into files view, you can see we've got videos in there. Photos, we've got the PNG file. So these are my thumbnails I deleted. I can preview them in here, recover them if I want. Videos, we've got some MKVs in there, some movies, PNG, and then we've got miscellaneous documents, but I'm not gonna go into them just in case there are any personal documents. So that's that scan working. And to be honest, that's pretty much it for showing you guys how to use it. It really is that simple. You just select the problem you have and you can then go ahead and recover them. If you want to do an all round recovery, you can press on that and it will help you just find anything that you have deleted. Now, as I said, you will be able to find a lot of files, but if you've overwritten enough times, then you may have overwritten the file that you want. So it's not always gonna work, but most of the time it should work without a problem. Now, as I said, this application is completely free. For those of you that want it, I've placed a link down in the description below that will take you to this page here. You can press download and get it for Windows and Mac, and it is a free download. As I said, there are some limitations with the free version for a start, you can only recover files less than 100 megabytes but there are pro versions if you do need to purchase and get bigger files for the average user though the free version is going to be great and of course you can use it to try it first if you like it you can get the pro version if you need it but as always the links you need are down in the description below if there's anything i've missed or you've got any questions at all leave them in the comments below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can but thank you for watching the video and please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel.